I have given our little homemade part a second coat. After the first coat had dried, I wasn't sure, but I thought I could see copper glinting through here and there. Might have been my imagination. Anyway, there's no copper glinting through now. When you see it up close like this with the super macro, you realize it's not 100% to the right shape. However, I'm not going to mess with it and risk chipping off the paint. Now this horrendous mess you see here with the railings, it's not as bad as it looks. At the back there where it looks like a bunch of spaghetti, all those loose ends, they have to fasten up against the flagstaff once the flagstaff is in place. And as far as the fact that I broke it off a little bit on the on the far side there, it's uh, going to glue back on quite easy. And what I want to do here is just a bit of a a dry run here. And uh, if I can find the hole that is, there it is. I'm using Tony's tweezers so that we don't accidentally scratch it. Okay, yeah, I think it's going to go down far enough that we're not going to see any of the... Uh, uh, you know, the the uh, copper. Yeah, because the very bottom there where the plier was holding on to it is bare copper, as you saw. So I think that's going to be all right. I'll get a little bit of CA medium in that hole and stick it in for real. Let me just move this back out of the way a little bit here. I want it to be at the same angle as the other one as best as possible. Got a little bubble there, I wonder if that's going to... See if I can pop it here. Yeah, that's some better. Okay, just look at this all around here. I think it's actually straighter than the other one. And when you see them like that, you can tell that the uh, one that we made is just could have been just slightly uh, larger in diameter. In other words, heavier gauge wire, but the next step up I think would have been too heavy. Okay, let's just leave that for a while and see what happens. Fair amount of time has passed here now. And obviously our our CA glue is completely cured. In fact, I could I could probably bend this one way or the other, and it wouldn't have a tendency to break out of that hole that we put it in. But on the other hand, it might. Um, I'll I'll refocus here in a minute. But I'm noticing on the top of this that I must have rubbed some of the paint off of it. Um, I'm gonna just do a little quick touch up on the top there. Um, I have a tendency to position my work convenient for the camera. Then when I go to, to uh, put a little part in, like when I was trying to put this part in the hole yesterday, or earlier I meant, uh, all right, I'll be honest, it was yesterday. Right now it's the next morning. Um, yeah, I gave it away, didn't I? Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so so I'm shaken like a leaf because everything is awkward or it's the reach is too far Right now you can see that I'm holding the you know my tool fairly fairly steady. There's a little bit of shake there But I, I got to remember to position the work convenient for for uh, for when I'm for when I'm working on it uh, <clears throat> You know and then think about the camera later. Um, I'm just thinking out loud again
I'll bet you that right now somebody who is really camera savvy is about to give me a comment that goes something like this. Hey, if you have that lens set to about 5.6, it's going to be sharper than f16. Well, that's true, but only on the point that is focused on. The overall picture is going to be a little fuzzier because the depth of field on this particular lens is so extremely shallow that if I want to have the overall picture look good, I have to stop it down. Anyway, this isn't too bad. The super macro goes from two and a half power to five power. Right now it's at a three and a half. I'm just trying to get rid of that copper that's sort of glinting through there. I think that once this dries it'll be okay. The depth of field is lousy. You'll notice that just to the extreme right I've got some accidentally on the uh, base where the deck tan was. That's because I started painting the wrong one. I don't know, maybe I am getting too old for this. Anyway, uh, we'll just leave that now and see what happens. I'm going to have to uh, get the deck tan out anyway to do touch-ups here and there. So Now there are a few little things that we have to do yet before we can actually uh, start dusting, I guess you might say. And speaking of dusting, you probably noticed when I was using this needle as a pointer here, there was a little tiny piece of uh, dust on it. Well, if you remember, I had used it to, po to pop the bubble on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the CA glue. And then I guess I must have put it down onto the uh, brown cloth here. And I guess it picked up a little, uh, well, a little piece of uh, dust. I think it's probably more a piece of the towel than a piece of dust. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to make is that the dust is so small you can't can't see it. It's probably still on there, but I can't see it. Stuck on there with CA glue, right? Uh, okay, so we got to get this lowered back down here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I won't do it on camera, but I did want to mention this. One of the viewers suggested that being as that this uh, cradle is just slightly too short, what I could do is just cut cut a slot in the in the back here and in the front problem is it's it's getting a little bit too late now in the game uh, it's, it's a good idea and I, I might do something like that so it'll accommodate the hood the problem is that because the hood model is actually an inch and a half longer than this or maybe even a tiny bit more that I'm probably gonna have to completely lengthen all of this anyway um, but the idea of cutting the slot, I, I kind of like that idea. I'm not going to tell you who the viewer was, but I'm going to give you a hint. Now you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, we've got the uh, block and tackle to put on the other crane. We've got to glue the door on here yet. Um, I think we'll do that before we actually start with the dusting, and then after the dusting, it'll be going around with a little brush. I'll take, uh, for instance, I'll start with the deck tan, and I'll... Uh, fix up all the poofas that I've, uh, you know, like I did here earlier on that, and uh, uh, well, let's, what are we gonna do next? Okay, let's let's put the block and tackle on the other crane. Now you may recall that I was mentioning how that when I had uh, put this uh, uh, pulley together. The CA glue had uh, got onto the easy line and kind of kinked it there. However, when when we hang Tony's plane onto it, the weight of the plane uh, straightened that out. Uh, however, because we are going to have Tony's plane hanging over, sort of over the side, and it's supposed to look like it's being retrieved off of the surface of the ocean, uh, maybe the longer one here would actually be better and I could uh, maybe later on think of some other way to hold this tight. It, it, it doesn't really show up too bad it's just that you can sort of see that it's not not straight. Um, at least I can see it. So um, at first I was going to uh, you know you can see here that the, that the there's lots of line involved well, and I was just going to shorten it a bit, but I think now I'm going to do it as long as possible. And then maybe we'll use this crane to hang Tony's plane from. 
At least that's the plan right now. Okay, you can see that Ian has very graciously offered to hold this for us. And I'm taking the shorter one. Am I? Is that the shorter one? Or did I make a mistake there? I want to grab the shorter one. Yeah, it's a shorter one. Okay, so I want to come up through here. Like that. Now we'll grab hold of it and have it go around the pulley in a realistic fashion. Let's see if I can just hold it like that now. Ah. Maybe I'm holding it with the wrong tweezers. Maybe I should poke it up with these ones. Well. Okay. Okay, let's try this again here. Like that. We'll get our CA glue. Okay, that should be enough. Might be able to try out our new scissors here. Okay, Let's see if we can grab a hold of this, stretch it out a little bit. Well, I think in a case like that, I might probably be better off using my little knife. All right. Now we want to get this one up and adjusted so that the pulley will be level. Um, yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, let's try this for real. Oh. Okay. I think we actually we actually got it here. I don't know if I dare put any on the top or not, just let it wick its way down around the other side. And then uh, the uh, little airplane will hold the, this part here level. Alright, let's let that set. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we actually have never tried out our uh, specially shapened and super sharp blade. Remember the one we reshaped here for uh, decals? Now let's be careful not to cut the wrong one. <sighs> I 
Well, I think you can probably see what happened there. I, I pulled the, uh, I pulled it right off. I think I can save it. I might see if I get that bent around there. The CA glue has uh, stiffened has stiffened the easy line now though unfortunately. Now if I if I could glue it right there, it's pretty much back the way it was. I'll give it a try. So let go too soon. That's not right. So. say I'm all ready to go but I don't have the right glasses on okay I'm all repositioned here and uh, okay maybe we can later poke that down where's my needle that's got the little piece of towel on it here. I put my finger underneath to support it. Can we poke this down? Wonder. I'm afraid to pull it out and try and cut it off shorter. It, it is uh, adhered right here. So you know, I know you, you can't you can't really see that at, at, at a distance, but uh, we, we know it's there, right? Okay, this might be a mistake, but if we put a little bit of CA on the end of it, like that, now can we just sort of smear it into place? Will it stay? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Okay, we have our super macro cranked up to maximum here. And you can see that little piece is sticking up just a little bit. But I mean, you need the super macro to see it. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'll probably only make it worse by messing with it. Okay, you can see here now that when the plane is hanging from the crane, the uh, cables, or the easy line, is pulled straight. And the pulley system here looks normal so I think we got away with it and once again Ian you have been very helpful little by little we're getting everything done here we got this crane done and uh, we got our little pipe fixed in the stern I think the next thing to do now is get this hangar door glued in the right position and uh, maybe glue the airplane down. I think we can do that before we do our dusting. Um, maybe I will just sort of dust out before I glue it down, I don't know. But that's going to have to be in tomorrow's episode. We're running out of time here again. This uh, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But then it seems that everything takes longer than I think it's going to. In the meantime, thanks for watching. 
and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>